Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are framing away on our upper deck. Uh, lots of curves and cuts going on. Lots of joists being installed. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our page. Thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate it. Got some air compressors going off too. Lots of stuff going on. So join along, follow along. Uh, don't forget to check out our social media page as well, at Dr. Dex on Instagram. We're on Twitter and Facebook. All right, let's go. If I hang a pizza from it, then I'll be down there all the time. Yeah, yeah staring at keep, it. Mm. have to keep adding a new pizza because it'll just disappear. What's up, guys? Not a real pizza. How's YouTube? How is everyone? Yeah, about the same. It's wet. Yesterday was really wet. Quite fortunate you weren't here. Yeah. You just going for the awkward moment? I'm just waiting for you to do something. <laughs> Not yet, give it time, give it time. You just got here. Okay. So I'm, uh, we're just framing away, adding more blocking. Creating curves is very time consuming. It takes more time than a standard deck, uh, 10 times longer sometimes than it would just to create a square. So I'm adding some certain blocking and getting to the point where we can add uh, plywood to this certain section of the deck that we cannot use a bladder system on. So that's what we're doing right now and getting to it. How are them angles? Not bad. Uh, they're smaller angles, like 12 to 15 degrees. So we just brought the little uh, Metabo seven and a quarter up here and using that to bust out this pressure block. Over here now. One sheet can go, where's the... Why plywood? Why plywood up yeah. top? Yeah. So over there we use two by 10 or two by 12 and two by 10 for the blocking. Up here we're using um, plywood because it's gonna keep us from having to do this all the way around. Um, and it just would have been really tricky right here. So to avoid the whole situation, we just made everything, or the two by eights are an inch and a half down from the two by 10 joists, which is gonna be perfect for two sheets of three quarter inch plywood. So we're gonna put that up there. Jay's gonna trace it out. He's gonna cut it out and then cut the second sheet out. And that's gonna be the top part of the curve. And then we'll take the white Azek as the border along the outside of the joist. And that's gonna be the outside of the curve. Um, so that's white plywood. Get a jigsaw, please. <laughs> Friday because I brought back the pieces I didn't need and left the pieces. You know how when you rip Never buy a car on a Friday. Yeah. Never buy a car <laughs> made on a Friday, Nas. Because right. everybody's thinking about the weekend. They're not thinking about the duties on hand. Like, you know, the seat belts aren't quite tight because everybody's trying to leave a little early, you know, and you come back Monday morning and you go back to work on that same car and, oh man, then they're all hung over from the weekend. So uh, it's vicious, you know? So you always buy a car that's made on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. That's my advice. Yeah, how do you find you that? find out, the, the, it tells you in the manufacturer's code when the car is made. Really? Yeah, it's like a legit thing. Well, I'm putting up these little support two buys so that when we put our white ASIC trim like we have around the bottom, it has somewhere to support it so that when you screw it in, it's just not collapsing. So this way, it will give it a nice, strong support. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, we understand how you're creating the outside circle, 
but how did you create the inside circle on the deck? So what I do is I predetermine the radius that I want. So for both the inside curves on both the lower and upper deck, that is a nine foot radius, okay? So I have, I pre-cut those on a jig, on a couple pieces of plywood. So to lay out, depending on how big your circle is or your, or your reverse curve is gonna be, will determine how many pieces of plywood you need. If it's over like 12 feet, you're gonna need three jigs. But for the one I'm doing right now, I only needed two. I had three jigs I used on the downstairs one, but now I only have two jigs for up here. You can see I've made a compass right here for this. I have a five foot radius on this side. And then you see a compass behind me. That's a seven foot radius going around that way. But now you wanna know, okay, how do you create this inside curve to flow these two circles together? So what I did, I got my two pieces of scrap plywood and I found my pivot points. This is where my five foot radius and my seven foot radius are gonna meet my nine foot radius, okay? And then what you do is you take your plywood and you line it up. It could be all, it could be totally askew like this, right? Well, that's not a true radius. So what you have to do is you have to bring your plywood into check. And once you have these two radiuses that line up along your, your surface, now I know I have the right radius. And I don't have to, ha I mean, I'm not obviously don't have a way to pivot from the middle of nowhere on the inside of this curve. So now I know I'm pretty accurate. It may not be 100%, but I doubt anybody's gonna be able to walk up here and say, man, that's a nine foot, one eighth inch radius, dude, instead of a nine foot radius. So that's how I figure out my inside curves. And I hope that answers some questions. And if you have any more, leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. We got DJ Studio Man in the house. Don't leave your chalk out in the rain because when it gets wet, it doesn't work very well. All right, so today we, uh, started forming the outside shapes of the deck. We already had some uh, joists up, but I just finished marking all those out and we cut all those to form. And now we're gonna put a piece of Azek, just like the lower deck, a piece of curved bent Azek around to create the shape of the deck. We still have to build out this side of the deck, which we probably won't get finished today. And then uh, once that's done, we can call for a framing inspection and then uh, start waterproofing these decks. So that's what's on the docket. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified every time we're putting out fresh content. Thank you very much. Have a great day.